What up YouTube? Rob here. So, I want to create this video quickly to help a few people out. This week, I was asked by a personal friend about PIP, P-I-P, in the fellowship. I was also given two comments by a subscriber who soon after deleted the comments, I guess not wanting his name tied to the channel and to being a fellow. So in this video, I would talk about PIP, my personal experience on PIP, and other routes you can take just in case PIP gets into effect. Anyway, intro video starts now. What up guys, Rob here again. If you're new to the channel and you are looking into the fellowship, the New York City Teaching Fellows, please subscribe. I have a few videos on it and we'll create some more on whatever questions you guys might have. What is PIP? I believe the grade point average on your observation should be a 2.20, if I'm not mistaken, 2.20. And anything below that, you can get kicked out. Um, so PIP is basically the probationary word to say, oh my God, step your game up or you're getting kicked out. So yes, I was on PIP, I did the whole summer, it was great. My coach was strict, her ideas of teaching was not the same as the fellows. She got fired, I had a new coach, PIP. <laughs> I was put on PIP. And basically on my last week of training, um, I knew about six people, about six, that was on PIP as well. What I would say is, I think five of us made it, one of them didn't, but that person was just not made to be a teacher. So, get that. There's two words of advice. One, don't be nervous. The more nervous you are, the more you mess up, the more you stutter, the more you forget your uh, lesson plans. Don't, just try not to be nervous. Two, when I was stressing out just like you were because you found this video and you were nervous because you gave up everything for the opportunity, the chance, it's not guaranteed, the chance to be a teacher and it could be taken away. So, a coach spoke to me on the side and said, there's two things he wants to tell you. One, this is the training where the fellows makes its bank. They don't want you to fail because they want to show that this barista or this mechanic all of a sudden is a teacher because the, the fellowship trained you. Yeah. So, they fail you, it looks bad on the fellows. Two, the coach doesn't want to fail you because it looks bad on the coach. So. Take that word of advice as best as you can from a coach. So try not to stress. But two, let's say you happen to get kicked out. What happens next? Uh, let's say you get kicked out. What can you do? First of all, one, go back to whatever you were doing. Uh, maybe it's not what you want, but at least you gave it a shot. Go back. If you can't or you don't want to, there are still ways you can be a teacher. Go to a charter school. You can still teach there with a bachelor's degree. Some people don't like it because apparently you can get fired whenever you want. But I have friends that also love it and others that hate it. So, I don't know. I've never been a part of that. Two, you can still teach in the Board of Ed, but as a substitute teacher on a bachelor's degree. And if you were in the fellows or thinking of applying, you have a bachelor's degree. You only need to follow a few steps. One, get a nomination from a principal. So go to your high school, your middle school, your child's school, tell the principal, you know, kind of lie a bit, say, hey, I was in the fellowship, I can't do the demanding work. People know what the fellowships are. I have a kid, but I wanna go the route of sub-teaching and you know, going to school on my own. They may buy it, they may not, they'll give you a nomination, you take the test, which is super easy, and you can teach. The only thing is that once you're in, you need to keep going to school and continue master credit, master's credits in education. So for the first year you can teach, but by the end of the year you need to have six education credits or you can't renew for the next year. I was lucky enough to have one year of the fellowship under my belt and I had 21 credits. So, whew. But yeah, don't be too stressed out that your career in teaching is over because yes, you're on PIP, but I believe you can make through it. Yes, you can get through it. People I know have gotten through it. I've gotten through it. And two, you can still teach somewhat, and substitute teaching is not a bad gig. It's about $175 a day. So um, the only thing is no health benefits, but don't be too scared. 
take it uh, easy. Don't be nervous and just listen to the grows and grows. The glows and grows, glows and grows. Whatever your coach has been telling you to do, do it. Kiss butt, do whatever. Just make sure that you get through, all right? Good luck, let me know what happens down low. Let me know if you were put on PIP. If you were a fellow and you were put on PIP, what did you do? Just let's have a conversation. Let's help all our future fellows. Let's help current fellows. And remember, comment down below any questions you have because just like this video, if I can have my two cents or help you guys out, I would try as best as possible. So thank you, love you guys, stay up. Thanks for helping Shelly and I get monetizations. We appreciate you and we will help you as best and fast as possible. I'm out.